Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. This video is going to show you how to uh, set up custom uh, gearing ratios uh, so that EQ ASCOM can uh, drive your mount if perhaps you've, you've put a belt drive on there or something. Okay, first thing we have to do is open up the EQ ASCOM setup screen. Custom ratios are an advanced option, so if we click the Show Advanced Options button, we'll see a new little spanner appears in the Mount Options area. Click that button and that will pop another window. Now obviously for custom mounts to be enabled you have to put the checkbox uh, and then you have to enter some uh, numbers in, in into these various fields that say how many, what the total number of micro steps is uh, for one rotation, one complete rotation of your axis uh, how many steps constitute a uh, one worm revolution, and also something called the tracking offset, which uh, basically is, is an offset to the, the, the standard tracking rate. Now, the best thing to do is, is if, if you're not sure what these are, ask on the Yahoo group, and I'll, I'll, I'll try and answer it. Um, but we do have some preset numbers in here. The, the 4 to 1 ratio is is a typical one that people use on the belt drive. Um, the standard ratio on a uh, EQ6 Pro is 47 to 12, which is not quite 4 to 1. Uh, putting it to 4 to 1 helps no end with uh, periodic error correction. Um, so if you were going for 4 to 1 belt drive, you just click that. As you see, the numbers change. Let's assume that on our declination axis we're going to stand, stay with the normal uh, gearing. And that's all you do. Um, click the OK button and now EQ ASCOM will uh, be running with different gearing ratios. It'll um, automatically take into account those ratios when calculating go-tos and when uh, doing uh, tra tracking rates. OK, that concludes this uh, video.